Hi, welcome back to the channel. Welcome James back to the channel. Back again. And we won't name its actual name on the channel, but here's a Mini Cooper. Yeah, YouTube won't like that. Don't <laughs> yeah, you? YouTube oh. won't agree with the actual name of this car. <laughs> um, right, we've got James back, and this is his dad's John Cooper Works Mini. So we've actually got a bit of welding work to do on it, and we'll give you a bit of a walk around, but this isn't just a Mini Cooper, really, is it? It's, it's, it's a bit, bit, bit more than a Mini Cooper, and it's a bit more than John Cooper did to it as yeah, well. Yeah, so, so it's, <laughs> it's a 95 Mini Cooper, but it's gone to John Cooper for the extras, and then it's gone from the from next the, stage from the up factory. from that it was yeah genuine conversion from the factory yeah well i say from the factory from down south where he was based in his honda garage but yeah a, um but it's had a, it's had a little bit more work since then yeah so yeah. we're walk around the engine isn't quite john cooper spec anymore is it no it's not quite john cooper spec anymore uh, unfortunately, i say unfortunately but I, no i think it's a good it's, thing it's probably for the best uh, it's got a 1380 bore out with a full avon bar stage three race spec engine cams head the lot yeah uh so it's, it's gone one it's, it's gone it's gone from one extreme to the, the previous other. owner track dated didn't he really yeah, I so think he kept did, going yeah also grass and stuff he yeah he um he likes to track day he went through quite a few clutches um but he <laughs> it still goes it still runs still. yeah it's quick isn't it it's a quick little mini so it's done it's done over a hundred thousand miles and um you can't knock had, that it's had a couple of engine rebuilds but unfortunately not since we've owned it but um, yeah it's uh, yeah, it's quite a, it's quite a genuine, honest mini, and it was used for it was it was built for the yeah. version. It had the power, and it's sort of a fast road from the car now, so yeah, it's sort it's of retired from the old being abused to Sunday blasting, really, isn't it? We don't know how much power it made. It was supposed to make 80 from John Cooper. I reckon it's making 90 now. I mean, 1995 from yeah. the Avon Bar. You never know. We might roll and road it one day. It'd be quite one fun day. to see on the rolling One day road. it'd be great. If we, yeah. get a, if we can get a mappable ECU in there, I think it yeah. would push 100 easily. Yeah, so. so it's got to be said that this is running a 1380 Avon Bar setup on original Rover stuff, yeah. which yeah. is quite mad when you think about it. If anyone's got any experience with injection minis and SPIs, they aren't very tunable, but it proves that this is it actually proves running. That the, it proves that the Rover, <laughs> Rover ECU is yeah. actually can learn and adjust to yeah. modifications. It's a little bit lumpy on a cold start. But yeah. We're, we're, um, Put a little bit of a, an idling video in and you'll see the, the idle and it is a bit of a lumpy thing. It spins up, doesn't it, when you're trying to pull oh, off in it, but it, it, it does it yeah, does fly when it's so going. So as soon as you put your foot down, it will be, um, you you would, wouldn't believe how much power it gets yeah. out. So it, it goes, it shifts and the 10 inch wheels don't help with the traction. And no, it's got these lovely <laughs> Mamba wheels on it, so. It does spin up quite a lot. So we'll go for a little walk around the car now and we'll show you what we're doing with it and sort of the plans of it really. Right, so we'll start from the front. So it's the original British Racing Green. Uh, I think your dad likes stickers, doesn't he? He does. He actually removed a load before he came <laughs> up here because uh, I think he wanted it to look a little bit nicer for the, for yeah. the videos. So he added the number plate. It's quite a recent really thing, the ownership of it. So it's got the works number plate on it now. Um, originally it's an N-Reg, so it's 95, isn't it? Same as the sidewall. Um, uh, was it 96? December 96. So it's a 96 N, so yeah. corrected there. And yeah, so we've got the Mamba wheels with the Yoko tyres. And inside, it's had the rear seat removed, but it is your genuine John Cooper plaque there. And then it's had all the extras. So it's got the dash, the motor leader style steering wheel, well, it's a genuine motor leader, isn't it? It, it is, it's with a, John, a proper, genuine John Cooper one, yeah. With a gear knob that matches it. All the um, gauges match. Yeah. These um, leather seats were, were a John Cooper option. Yep. Um, um, all the extra gauges on the dash. The, wall, it, the walnut panelling on the doors, the leather yeah. door so guards. Got, it's got walnut panelling in the front and back. The rear seats are out because you did have a bucket seats in here at one point, didn't you? We did, yeah. so The harnesses are still here, you can see those. But we still got the original leather rear seats as well. They will probably go back in it once it's had its restoration, but yeah. for now it's it's getting it back on the road and having a bit more fun with it before it needs it. So Yeah, so the car itself is very well sorted, not just in an engine aspect, but in an actual full whole package. So it's got the Manaflow system with a DCAT exhaust as well, so it sounds really good. Even with the lumpy idle, it sounds, sounds really nice. Twin box might I add. Oh, it's so, a twin so box system. Se so when you're at 70 on the motorway, you can actually hear yourself. So, <laughs> <laughs> and people think you want the noise, but honestly, twin box makes a difference on the motorway, especially if you've got a fast road engine. So. Yeah, because I can imagine this when it's it's going at full power, it's, it can get pretty noisy, I gather, with a 
if you had a single box system all the way. Mm -hmm. So the rear sat quite high because it's recently had a rear stop frame done and it's not sat on high loads or anything at the back. So it's got yeah. a bit of a American gasser sort of, well, not, it's not a gasser look, is it? It's sort of a drag rake look at the moment. It does actually, doesn't it? If I was about to go <laughs> put some bigger tyres on it, we can put it on the put it on the strip and we might get 10 seconds now. I yeah. don't, I don't think we'll get 10. 10 but... second car all day long. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, so like I said, it's, it's had the 10 inch wheels done on it. it when, when the car was originally bought, it came with GBs on it, so it's not 10 inch wheels that you guys have added, but it's already had the conversion done at the front for the brakes. Um, obviously you've got the red badging, that's the John Cooper thing as well. And yeah, it's just got loads of extras. Yeah, the, the SI badge as well, actually off uh, a Ford Fiesta, but, <laughs> <laughs> but it was the same badge that John Cooper sourced to, to convert it to an SI. Well, there you go, there's a bit we, of history. I don't think that we've got, we, the original logos were gone when we got it, yeah, we, we someone reprinted them for us, but obviously they weren't UV protected. No, so they, they faded quite we, a bit. We're not sure if that we think that is the original one from John Cooper for this garage. So if actually if any of you know what a '95 a '96 John Cooper conversion logo had, we think it was that one. But because it had had been had had a full respray before we got it, the original logos unfortunately are gone. So yeah, so put in the comments below if you know where we can get those from. Cause it'd be nice to put them back on. The bodywork itself, apart from the door. Or well, both the doors really. Yeah, the front and back's exactly. quite good. Uh, it's had a front end impact at some points. So the front's been redone and the back's been redone. So the reason it's with us is for these rusty seals. Now I will obviously do a proper jacked up video with the seals and show you, but the seals and floors are pretty bad. I can probably show you inside. This is definitely the worst side. Yeah, I see right through. Um, yeah, when we previously looked at this. Quite bad floor wise i think we can actually yeah there's there's concrete so it needs a bit of tlc which we'll get done pretty confident it's the original the original floor the original seals so yeah so at the end of, end of the day to have lasted that long it's what's the speedo 108,000 miles on original floor original seals can't can't complain no can you no, no. people just... say minis aren't mileage cars but yeah. even with all these modifications it's it's still done the mileage and still lasted really well really so let's have a look at that engine right so like mentioned it's got the even bar engine so what what's the spec of it do you know much of the spec of it it's got the rockets done hasn't it it's, it's got, got the high rollers um, hence why the original john cooper uh, rocket cover is not on anymore because it will just tap and hit away because it's similar to the metro in the hard metro um, rocket covers for yeah. the slot. Uh, it's got the high rollers, I, I know it's a stage 3, I can get a full list spec, um, we do have it from Aven Bar. Do you know what, I should really know more about the engine, but I really <laughs> don't. I, apart from Your the, dad's got a spec list. He's got a spec list, yeah. it's got, I know it's the high rollers, stage 3, the cam's quite, I can't remember what the cam is, but it's um, pretty much everything's done, lighting and balance, flywheel, yeah. uh, turbo clutch. So it's, it's not a standard mini guys, it's, it's not a, a standard mini. mini. It's, um, it's not from, from what Rover would have done with it. And um, it's a bit cobwebby, and it sort of goes, and it, it's, um, it's a bit different, but yeah, apart from the dirty K and then air filter on the top. And, Which we will clean out. Yeah, we'll clean out, <laughs> trying to even get some red back into that. But it's not looking too bad, it needs, needs a bit of a clean up again, but actually the engine bay is pretty pretty clean. We can clean it up and we can... The dad likes hammer right, doesn't he? He does like hammer right, so there's a lot of hammer right on this car, so... <laughs> But then maybe that's the secret. Maybe it's the secret to a long lasting car. Yeah. Hammer right. Lever it and hammer right. Yeah, be okay. So I'll bring you guys a bit closer so you can actually see the engine a little bit better. But yeah, it's a bit grubby, but believe you me, this car does fly quite well. So. so yeah, you can see that they aren't standard. Um, like James just mentioned, we've got the air filter, KN air filter, completely standard. Rover, Rover yeah, everything about it standard in that in that respect. It's had the uh, it's a stage three head, like you said, and it's, we don't know what cam it is, but we do have a spec sheet. James's dad. Um, I'll get. I'll get you the can spec provide sheet. it, we'll, can't you? We'll, we'll put it in the we'll put it in the description. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll put, put the spec in the description because it, it, it it's got a long list of stuff on it. Um, I mean, rockets is a drop in the ocean. So what it's had. Once we've done the welding on it, so we've got two seals and a floor repair to do. We will give it a really good detail and get it ready for the summer because this is the aim of the game there's no point having a mini and having it sat about so let's get it on the road and yeah. that needs a good clean when it's on the road i'm sure we can get a follow-up video and we can kind of show you show you what the power's like in it to get you a bit, yeah see if we can go to an off 
somewhere off site private road and we might yeah have maybe fun. maybe even try and get a bit of track footage or yeah Go sort of track, airstrip track or, something. or something yeah where we can just take it easy but be able to put the beans down a little bit so yeah because those 10 inch wheels like to spin don't they, they when do, it's they um... do. yeah you can <laughs> you could be put your full foot down dump the clutch you'll be in first then you're in second and yeah then just towards the end of second third gear you you just about got traction so <laughs> yeah it, it doesn't hang about this car um north sussex me owners club was the club that i actually met james and chris from chris is obviously the owner of the car and this was always the fastest car in the club wasn't it there was you and rich and you used to just absolutely leave us so um well not to admit what we've done with it but <laughs> um not how accurate the speedo is but we did go off the clock sometimes yeah so <laughs> On yeah private roads, of course. yeah obviously <laughs> private roads and we don't know how good a rover clock is really do you but yeah, yeah exactly it, <laughs> it probably probably it's probably probably was going much slower than we actually thought so. yeah <laughs> so there she is john cooper works mini it's had so much love in its life and it's now just time for a bit of tlc really so like i mentioned i will go through the rust wise a little bit we'll do a proper walk around of the rust and repairs that needs to be done that'll be a separate video but for now that's the cooper james all up in simpsons classics hq we will we'll obviously get on with the welding it's we're going to start driving side first really won't we yeah, I see the side. Yeah, driver side's worse. We don't know how bad the doorstep is. We, the floor, you can buy an M machine quarter floor repair basically. So it's the first or second flute in, and I do think it's probably going to need yeah, that, probably, unfortunately. Probably be worth so, it. Yeah. We're not worried about it being. We'll have the light, the world line, but we're not. We don't want it to be. Yeah. 100%. We can, we can grind that back. Be okay. Yeah, it'll be smoothed over. But Let's see what you can do. Yeah, we we'll match the body colour underneath, and then it'll be back down to James for a bit of mechanical work, set it up ready for an MOT, and then yeah get you out on it and get a good review on it because this yeah. car is worth seeing on the road so yeah yeah i think you know, hit, hit that like button yeah that like, that like that button, button down button. there ring the bell if you haven't already Ready, because yeah. there will be a lot of work coming on this we've obviously got evie coming the white mayfair if you haven't seen that i will put this the link to that video at the yeah, end of this video we did warn you that it would take a while to get yeah. back on the channel yeah so this so one's so first this one's first because <laughs> it's a lot less work so yeah and then you know i've already got two other builds and we need to clear that but evie's coming but Please see Evie's video, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment below if there's anything you'd like to know about the John Cooper side of things because we will put the link in the description to what the specs are properly of it. But yeah, it is, it's a real quite a special car this and it is really worth doing all the work to it. It, it is going to be a really nice car when it's done again. Yeah, and it's worth it. for us, like for me, I, I've known the car, I've known you with the car and your dad with the car. So it, it's quite a special car at the end of the day. And there's not many John Cooper minis about. Yes, it's not quite standard, but it's gone even better than that so who's going to argue so please hit that like button like i mentioned hit subscribe if you haven't already and we'll catch you in the next one